Hey guys, it's DC here. Raise it up! So I just wanted to make this video, uh, I guess just to sort of talk for no particular reason at all, really. Um, as you may have guessed from the title of the video, uh, my contract that I'm currently on is coming to a close very soon. So this particular contract that I've been in is probably the longest contract I've ever had. It's uh, It's been over a year and a half now that I've been working at this particular place. And it all started uh, initially as me filling in for someone else who was sick. That um, initial contract was meant to be three weeks, which was fine. Um, but then they apparently they liked what I did and they extended me for three months to do a security audit and uh, basically write a report on all of my findings so that they could then give that back to the SOC team to go through and fix all of those different things. So those three weeks and three months uh, all went through and everything seemed pretty fine. Um, but in my last week of being there, uh, they then asked me if I would like to take up a six month contract. So three weeks turned into three months, which turned into six months, which eventually got extended to another one year contract. So in total, it was around an 18 months worth of work uh, that I, I put in at this place, which is um, quite a lot, actually. Um, the, the last contract that I had there was uh, as a SOC team lead. You might have seen the video that I posted up a little while ago. And um, it was just to complete a project that they needed an additional SOC team lead for. Um, they already have SOC team leads, but they, they wanted one extra to manage some particular project aspects. So yeah, that's, that's sort of what I've been doing for the last year and a half. And um, yeah, it's been fun. I've really enjoyed myself at this place, um, but that is now coming to an end and I've found myself thinking should I take another contract in between now and my contract that begins when I'm in China in July next year? Or should I concentrate on my own business and doing YouTube? Now, obviously with only 10,000, 11,000 subscribers, I'm not making much money out of YouTube. It's, it's really not much at all. And the chance of me getting another contract for six months or less is um, it's fairly likely I'd say but it's also quite annoying to have to jump into somewhere and do all of the learning stage again and proving yourself to everyone and I think I'm basically just getting old and I don't feel like it anymore but yeah that's that's sort of where I'm at I'm thinking should I take another contract or should I do YouTube and my own business and I'm definitely leaning more towards the YouTube slash business route. The business that I'm a director at is Datasec and basically it's all about software engineering, uh, cyber security audits and visualizing data essentially. So it's, it's all of that good stuff and I've been doing that also for just under two years now. Whereas before it was more of a side hustle, now I guess it would be transformed into the main hustle, like the day-to-day -day job, with YouTube being the hobby that fills in the blank time. I tend to be one of those people who doesn't like to sit still for very long and um, sort of think about things for a very long time. I just like to jump straight in and sort of get things going. But at the same time, making a move like this holds a lot of risk. And it's a little bit scary going from making you know, pretty good money to going to a YouTube pay um, which is very unknown and isn't very much at the most of time anyway. I think it would be a different story if I had like a hundred thousand subscribers and I was making you know some actually good money from YouTube but um, 
in this position that I'm at now, it's um, it's a pretty tricky decision to make, but I'm quite sure what I want, and I think the risk versus reward uh, is actually better by going down the YouTube creator slash business route. Like who knows if that business will take off and I'll get a lot of business through there and, and potentially make even more money. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really come down to just money. It's also about enjoyment and um, you know actually enjoying what you do day to day. No one really wants to spend their life doing something they don't enjoy doing. And I don't mean it like I, I don't enjoy doing cybersecurity for these different government agencies. It's just that I've been doing them for a little while now and I, I do feel like a break from that life would be really good. The sort of work that I'd be doing through DataSec is um, probably pen testing and yeah, basically just a lot of security audits for smaller companies um, and yeah, lots of small businesses with high risk data like accountants and lawyers. I was also looking into becoming a private investigator, um, but there's a course that you need to do in Australia to then get licensed uh, to be able to do that work. It's a pretty interesting line of work and it, it sort of feeds my curiosity um, and allows me to monetize OSINT work, which um, I do really enjoy doing. So maybe down the line, I'll have a look at becoming a private investigator, but until I can be bothered doing that course and getting the license and jumping through all of those hoops, I'll probably just keep going with DataSec and YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm sort of interested to see what you guys think I should do. Should I keep making lots of videos and continuing down the YouTube path and, and continue with my business and sort of vlog the day to day of a, I guess pen tester slash business owner? Or should I just get another contract and take the easy road? It really is a hard decision to make and I'm, I'm very interested to see what everyone else thinks I should do. Saying that, it doesn't mean that I'm actually going to take your advice. I'm, I'm pretty made up in my own mind what I will do and um, I'm pretty excited about it actually, but yeah. Anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.